different. So, uh, my good buddy John, he's got this magnificent first gen 12 valve Cummins. And uh, my, my buddy John, he's the most, most American young man you'll ever meet. Uh, he, he's just a true patriot. And uh, he's been working on this here and here and there. Uh, most of the parts he has on are custom, one one to one to him. Uh, you know, basically it looks like a farm truck, but he's got a lot of a lot of good parts, a lot of good work, and uh, it's it's just one of them deals. I just need, like, I just want everyone else to appreciate, like we do. You know, so I told him, I said, "Hey, buddy, one day." I said, yeah, I want, I'm going to put the camera in front of your face, and you're just going to just go. Just tell me about Tell me about the old girl. So that's what we're doing today. We're on my way. We're on my way out to his place. And, uh, yeah, we're going to check out his 12 valve, and he's going to talk about it and talk about all the places, you know, he, he's got parts from and all them good fellas, a little bit of history on the truck probably. And, uh, yeah, it should be a... Should be a good little video, especially, you know, for the Dodge guys, the Cummins guys, diesel guys even, you know. Just, uh, just really go and check out this truck. So, uh, yeah, I should be there in a couple minutes. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy what you're about to see. Enjoy this man, because he, he, I mean, he is, he's a man. He is a man. But y'all, y'all get to meet him real shortly. So, uh, yeah, here we go. There's my good buddy John right here. Howdy. He is a real fucking American, if you can't tell. Something like that. I try, I try. I certainly try. And uh, there's his pig. We're going to talk about it here in a minute. Hey John, so uh, tell us about the old pig. All right, so we got here 1993 first gen Ram. So this is the last of its kind. W250, W meaning four wheel drive. 250, uh, obviously it's optioned out in the 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel. 12 valve, all mechanical motor. In case you don't know, these motors originally came out in 1984 with International Harvester in case, and they were actually using backhoes. Uh, eventually ran through them in the pickup truck and you have the greatest series of diesel engines ever built after that. Um, there's not a lot done to this truck as of now on the outside. Underneath and inside there's a good amount of stuff going on. So front end's been lifted 2.5 inches. We have Alcan Spring Lewis Weldon down in Texas. Made some custom springs for the truck that's going in soon. Uh, we have 33's, 10 and a half wides. Um, I'm not we don't need all kinds of stands like those other Cummins guys do. Pro Comp 69s, uh, these are just aluminum wheels, there's nothing crazy about them. Worn hubs, Bilstein suspension in the front and rear. Moving on this way, we had our friends up north at Northwest Fabrication make me up a crossover steering kit. So that gives me a lot more angle. Crane axle gave me some top hats for these kingpins. A lot of times these, these uh, solid axles flex and You'll get all kinds of brakes inside, so that's all been alleviated. Uh, we do have a shock absorber, just from, uh, dampen the steering a bit. <laughs> Moving up, um, this is powered, or the whole steering system now is powered by a Borgeson high power steering pump. That goes to a adjustable telescoping steering shaft and a redhead steering box. If you have old trucks, a lot of times these are the best guys in the business. That's been relocated to the two wheel drive position um, for the sake of this kit. The braking system on these trucks, if you don't know, is absolutely atrocious. So you can do a disc conversion. In my opinion, the Hydro Boost is the way to go. Far from stock is a great kit for that. So engine bay is not pretty. It is a farm truck. I pulled it out of a, uh, a farm kind of dying on its own two years ago. She's been great to me. Here's your Hydro Boost system. Um, 
easily, easily doubled if not tripled my braking power and this thing is running on stock drums that it came with when I got it off the farm. Um, simple things that have been done to this motor so far. We have um, a Hungry Diesel, I'm sorry, this is actually Crazy Carl's throttle linkage. We do have a new VE pump on it that was rebuilt and it has a 3200 governor, uh, RPM spring. Stock is 2700 on these trucks. You can't go anywhere with it. It gives me a little bit more playroom. It does have a bigger fuel pin. We have 50 horse injectors. All that's going later down the line. It's kind of just something to hold me over in the meantime. Uh, we have a local powder coat guy here, Prior Marine, helicopter maintenance. He does all our powder coat work, so that was real cheap. That's a stock HX, uh, or I'm sorry, H1C whole set turbo. We do have an HX35, HX40 combo mate. It's 76 millimeters sitting in the house. It's way skated at 45 PSI. I can show that later. Um, I have a billet steed speed manifold that's going to, and that's going to go to an industrial injection head. We are going to keep the VE pump, but we're going with Eric from Hungry Diesel. He's got a, uh, a crazy VE pump we're putting on. Because of this inline six configuration on the top, uh, oftentimes your rear cylinders don't get as much cooling or heating as the fronts. So we have a crazy coil manifold plenum that is four times the size of this single horn. We'll just get a lot of better airflow, keep EGTs down, the massive pump going up. We have a 7.3 power stroke intercooler and radiator going in. That's from Mishimoto with a far from stock adapter kit. Um, the fuel pump and uh, I'm sorry, the lift pump, that was also, uh, it's, a, it's a high volume um, and high flow pump from Hungry Diesel as well. That's just gonna help supply. We have forged internals in right now, but we'll bump them up better later. Uh, ARP studs for everything. On the bottom end, it's really a stock block. These are a cast iron block uh, from the factory. You can make about 950, 1,000 pound-feet of torque easily, and these trucks don't mind it. From the factory, they're detuned. It makes about 400 pound-feet of torque. Uh, I believe uh, 160 horse, if memory serves correct. It depends on your pumps for the year. Um, this is a final year model, so uh, after this, they go to the second gens. This is an LE, so it's a power truck. Uh, we have power windows and uh, power mirrors as well. Not too common, especially on super or bug cab. Door locks, windows. This is the buckskin tan interior. The bucket seats. NP205 transfer case. Thing is an absolute tank. Uh, it is automatic for now. The only thing the uh, computer controls in these trucks, to my knowledge, is voltage regulation and your shift point for overdrive. It being a Dodge, it doesn't work, so we have that wired up to a toggle switch. We do have an NV4500 going in soon. Typical gauges set up, EGTs and boost. Not that this truck's making a whole lot right now. What are you making on boost right now? As of right now, I can peg 35 easy. Jesus. With the new turbo, if I didn't run the wastegate, we'll say 50, 60, but we don't need it on stock heads without studs. Four inch turbo back exhaust. Um, nothing crazy about it. Typical NVRP. Uh, we do have a nicely damaged rear tailgate from a pull-off. Ford guys, I will fuck you up. Uh, this is not the original tailgate. These came off the 80s models truck with the stamped uh, Dodge Ram. I was never a fan of the late 90s models. Just not my style. I have a brand new one set up. I'm just waiting for paint. Paint's the last thing I'm worried about. Oh, uh, yes. What's that? This right here this is my, uh, my bottle opener. So when I drop my tailgate, I can look at fat girls around the racetrack, pop my beers. That's a mandatory. Who'd you get that from? That's far from stock as well. Um, there is a new website out, First Gen Industries, and they are making OEM parts in conjunction with the original Chrysler crew for this. They're hugely helpful. Gino's Car Garage is awesome as well. Uh, LMC makes parts for the gassers. Um, a lot of times these trucks, forums are your best friend. Av Blanc uh, from Just Diesels on YouTube also does awesome videos on these trucks in general. Um, you kind of go as, learn as you go, but nothing crazy about it. Long bed, scented cab. Just beaut, buddy. Thank you, buddy. So what all parts you got waiting around for you? You said you got the intake, exhaust manifold, you're move, gonna go bigger injectors. Let's move to the garage for that. I got all We'll go see what kind of parts it's got laying around. He plans on putting on her. Hey, welcome to the shit shed. Um, 
All right, so this is a newer company, uh, Metal by Charlie. Uh, these guys make awesome fabricated parts. So this is actually a trans bracket for the NV4500 swap. The guy stacked dimes on it, and the gauge on this steel is, is awesome. Yeah, that's thick. All kinds of cool parts from these guys just to help with the build process. Uh, like I said, intercoolers, radiators. Um, this is all brand new stuff. We have a grill in here. Brand new OEM grill with the inserts. Um, all of the trim that goes on the outside, badging. Over here, uh, these trucks didn't come stock with an RPM gauge on it. Um, and as I'm moving up, I, you know, I'm gonna need to know where I'm going. So we have S-Pro gauges for that. Um, brand new Tomax, what is this? EGT, Boost, and I believe Trans Temp. Digital and uh, analog. Over here, have a really nice far from stock rad cover with all kinds of cool companies I've used. Uh, fluid damper, really uh, makes it quality, some quality products. Throw diesel, throw bed diesel, Mishimoto. Bean machine for my sumps. Pure diesel power has been awesome as well. Uh, 179 garage, I'm not sure if they're still around, but back in the day, they used to make OEM parts as well. Power driven diesel, liquid iron is my fabrication guys. They're local here in Jersey. Geno's is amazing. We only use Amsoil, America Diesel Podcast, BD, and Northwest Fabrication. The truck is missing the front fender covers. We have them here. All kinds of interior we pulled out of a Ram Charger. Um, as long as you're running the same models, gassers, Ram Chargers, and diesel should all work in conjunction with each other. Pretty much the same when you go to the half ton and three quarter ton. It's all the same. We have our fluid damper over here. That'll actually save anywhere up to uh, 15 pound-feet of torque or horsepower. Just alleviate some of that uh, vibration. And Lord knows those old 5.9s like to fucking rattle. Below that, oh man, I don't even know what some of these parts are. Uh, we do have our hood ornament. So, fun fact, when Ram went to the intercooled models in the Cummins, the hood, hood ornament disappeared. So I believe it was 91 and a half is when you get your intercoolers. And after that, there's no more hood ornaments. I like the way they look. I think it's classic. You ain't a cowboy if you don't have a hood ornament. So That's right. There we go. Uh, we have our reflectors, headlights, taillights. Over here we have all our brand new oh, reservoirs for washer fluid and power steering and all kinds of stuff. What do we have in here? More headlights and taillights. I believe this is all just looks kind of stuff. We have our clutch and gas and brake pedal assembly that's all new all kinds of uh, rubber for the windows here's our intake horn uh, Gail Banks big daddy of diesel himself uh, makes products only for the second gen the twin intake horn really just helps especially with your rear cylinders get proper cooling and heating I mean you can see the massive gauge of that I mean yeah, this will cover Jesus. half the motor easy uh, we do have our plenum here. Um, tap it covers. So these diesels, these old diesels, love, love, love to build up blow by. So as far as relieving pressure out of the crankcase, a heating machine, fabricate this bad boy up. Mm. We're gonna run some AN lines that go off the side of the block into a Mishimoto catch can to try and get as much of that pressure out of the block as possible. Uh, as far as I've heard, Keating is the only company um, that some of these higher horsepower builds people run without having uh, all kinds of leaking issues at the side of the block. I will let you know how that goes when the time comes. Um, we have a sinister diesel alternator. That's just going to help with some of the power things we're adding in the future. Like I said, ARP everything. We have our bean fuel sump. Everything billet. Uh, we're going to run that out of the bottom of the block to some bigger lines that go up to the lift pump, just help with fuel supply. Uh, the, the thing that sets 12 valves apart from a lot of other trucks is the fact that they're all mechanical. People oftentimes will run uh, air dog or fast lift pumps, and that's just another motor on your truck that you don't need. Uh, if, in my opinion, the thing that makes 12 valve great is the fact of how simple it is. So in the spirit of keeping it simple, Hungry Diesel has a lift pump that will supply easily up to 400 horsepower on your truck. It is all mechanical. It's a $200 part that drops right in. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Beautiful. Over here, we have our big turbo. 
Uh, huge, huge, huge shout out to Fenley back home. That is a local from the 209, my hometown. Ooh. If you don't know, Cummins partially owns Holset. You typically only see Holset and Volvo and Cummins applications. Fenley Works is getting bigger and bigger in the game. Uh, all of my friends have run their products, and they're easily running 12, 1300 horsepower builds. <laughs> Uh, that turbo was custom made, one off to me, and I paid, I believe, $1,000 for it with shipping. Instead of going for a pre-manufactured part, uh, Finley, you talk to him, you tell him your specs, you tell him what you're running, what you want, and he will build you a turbo exactly to your needs. Waste gated for what you want, milled for what you want, your boost will be set at what you want. If you want more whistle, if you want power, if you want torque, Finley does it all. I really, really, really cannot plug him any, any more than I... Pick, pick that thing up. I want to see it next to your head. Oh boy. It's a honker. Oh god. Oh. <clears throat> there she is. The big girl. And we are running fire jackets around this thing with uh, some heat wrap around the downpipe. Just try and keep as much of that heat out of the uh, engine bay as possible. Oh god. Heavy um, thing. The manifold. This is kind of the. Uh, <coughs> Oh, that'll sound real good. This is oh, a yeah. solid billet manifold. Uh, you choose your angle, choose everything you want, what buttons you want, what what angles, and uh, yeah, this this should sound amazing. I believe it flows um, anywhere from 10 to 30 percent better than any other manufacturer. It's solid. It's not going anywhere, and I don't see any cracks in the future. Um, we still do need to plug uh, plug in some new injectors. The injection pump, like I said, will be getting swapped out for a higher RPM and a better fuel flow setup. As far as that, once the uh, heads go in, we can kind of just strip down the bare block and start new, go from there. Sweet. So what's, what's your expectancy on this? Expectancy? Uh, I do want a little bit down-tuned. I, I, it's going to be a street truck, so I don't need to make all kinds of crazy power. Realistically, if I can push... We'll say 900 pound-feet of torque should be easy. On the horsepower level, we do have the turbo waste gated down. We are running smaller injectors. I'm not looking to push a ton of fuel out of the back and burn smoke. I want a reliable truck that will tow whatever the hell I want, when I want, and is fun to drive. So we'll say 450, 500 horsepower, 1,000 pound-feet of torque. So now a lot of people are going to wonder why you're doing all this to... A 93 Cummins compared to just going out and buying a 2016 Cummins. I grew up in wine country, California. Um, a Campo Machine Works is my one of my best friend Troy Edwards' uh, company. Well, when we were kids, the cool kids had their paws hand-me-down diesel trucks. Um, Troy Edwards had, I think, the coolest damn truck in the whole school. It was a second gen. Um, it was a 2001 or two. It's a VP44 truck but it was swapped out for the P-Pump off the 12-valve second gen. So originally it was computer-driven, and now it's this massive semi-truck turbo, P-Pump 5.9, 1,200 horsepower pickup. But the sound of being a kid sitting in the vineyards at your buddy's house, shooting squirrels with a 1022 or whatever it was, and just hearing this machine just chug through the, through the, through the vineyards, that instantly sparked something in me. I wanted to get in the cars. I wanted to have that cool truck. So. Years later, I've been in the military for six years now, and I have a little bit of money to myself, so this is kind of a pet project. It's, it's gonna be my dream car. I get the, the classic squared off body lines from the Ram first gen. Those bodies really go back to the 70s, 80s models. I'm an old school American guy, so I like that look, but I get all that cool diesel mech that comes with it, and at the same time, I get sweet turbo noises out of it, and it's semi-modern, being a 93, so it, uh, Really, it just, it's, a, it's a nostalgia factor, and uh, it's more of a toy than anything, but maybe someday I'll be able to daily drive it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we go take it for a drive right now? Let's go take it for a drive. gloves. Every work truck needs some work gloves. If you don't got work gloves in your truck, nah. <laughs> if you got work gloves in your truck, it ain't a work truck. And if you don't got a work truck, you ain't no cowboy. Cowboy yeah. truck. 
Damn straight. Actually, when I wired in these Ford cab lights on this truck, uh, I touched uh, touched something I shouldn't have. So, got to figure that one out. Shit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, H1C! You gotta love these things. They chirp like a fucking bird. Does this thing got death wobble? Not, not. All the steering, everything is brand new. Underneath the truck, it's it's completely better than stock. Everything's been fabricated, replaced, or uh, it, it's got a lot of TLC to it. A uh, Dodge without death wobble. Yeah, I mean, it, it, thank you for from stock, but you know, it, the truck's a lot better than, than it was when I bought it. I bought this truck sight unseen, and I got it for sale, not on sale. Uh, I bought it sight unseen out of a ranch in California about an hour from my own hometown uh, for 8500 back in the day. To find a clean, rust-free first gen, typically a little lower miles like this. Four-wheel drive, too. Four-wheel drive. You don't see these trucks too often. That fucking rattling son of a bitch, but it's cool. See, when I came over to John's house, I said, John, are we going to have a burnout today? He said, no, you know, I just got back. I'm going to take it easy on her. Just got all that work I done. I have seen this truck in six months. I've been gone for a while, you know, doing overseas stuff. So, feed on her a little bit. Fuck it. There's one thing that I wish I would have known on this truck when I first got into it. It is A, one wire alternator all day long. And these things love to jump on the voltage. Go into that one wire system alleviates all that. Two, run a hydro boost in it. It'll be, uh, even if it's a low budget truck, you'll thank me later. Um, the truck feels brand new. And if there's one last thing, uh, don't buy stock suspension on these trucks. They're still coming out of that area where there wasn't a whole lot of aftermarket for it. Contact Alcan Spring, have them build you some soft rides, and you'll thank me later. We'll put all these links in the description, drop them in the video too for all these guys he's buying these parts off of. Buying off of local shops, always support your local guys. You see right there, you know, we're just all Americans out here. Support the farms, support the local small businesses. Help keep America running. End this video out. Now you got to look at uh, some good old-fashioned steel, some good old American-made diesel. Uh, John, any closing words you want to any last people you want to thank, companies you want to mention? Follow me on Instagram, John Lopez underscore USA. That's it? That's it. So I hate you. <laughs> all right. So that's how we're going to close this video up. Uh, all those companies John mentioned about his truck, uh, place he got parts from, I'll be sure to drop those in the video, drop those in the description so you guys can see the parts he got, uh, see the companies if you guys like them, you know, help support the local businesses. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one.